Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to get your PSN account ID 8 bytes base 64. And at the same time, right, I'm going to explain how to remote play PS4 in Windows PC using this Chiaki app. For example, if you want to remote play PS4 or PS5 in Chiaki app, whether it might be PC or mobile or Switch, you need PSN account ID 8 bytes base 64. So definitely you need that. Then only you can play through Chiaki app. If you want to play on mobile, right, you can play that. Okay, for that, what you need to do is, uh, you need to keep it ready. Okay, PSN ID. So this is my test account, PS test dev K. So you need to keep ready with your PSN account. If you don't know, I will show in this video how to check your PSN ID. And then write other things we have to follow. Because there is a script we have to run, okay, through Python. So what you need to do is, first we need to install Python. If you have already installed it, just ignore it. And we need to install PyCharm. PyCharm is an editor. We are going to execute the scripts, Python scripts in this PyCharm. Okay. Also, you can use Eclipse if you have. PyCharm will be very easy. All this link, right? All each and every link I will be providing in the descriptions. You can take it. Okay. And then we need to download and extract Chiaki app because it's very simple. It's a zip file. We need to download and we need to extract it. Then we have to create project in PyCharm. And then we need to execute the code. This is the script. This is the URL. This URL also I'll be providing in the descriptions. Once you have executed, right, you will be getting your base 64 8 bytes account ID. Go to this website, python.org. Here you can download the latest version. If you have already installed it, right, just ignore this. I'm going to verify on CMD. Python. Yes, I have 3.10.5. You can verify in this way whether your system is having Python or not. The next step is we have to install PyCharm. You can download this jbrains.com. Here you can download the latest versions. You can download this community version, which is for free. Once downloaded, you can right click and install it. So next, already I have installed just for today's purpose. I'm going to show that. So you need to click on next and next. If you want to update the path, you can click on this add bin folder to path Then click on next. Just install it. Okay. Already I have installed it. Already I have installed it. That's what you are seeing here. The next step is we have to download and extract Chiaki app for PC. So this link also I will be providing in the descriptions. This is Chiaki GitHub URL. Okay. Once you are in this URL, you can click on this link. Here just scroll down. And under right downloading a release, we need to click on this. You can download here. So the latest version is 2.1.1. Always you can choose latest versions. And here right, if you are going to install on Windows PC, you can choose that. If you want to download for Android mobile, you can download here or you can directly download from Google Play Store. So just click on this link. Automatically it will be downloaded. Once downloaded, right, we need to extract it. So Chiaki app is downloaded. I'm going to right click and extract it. Extract here. It's successfully extracted. Okay. Here you need to open this chiaki.exe. It's very simple. So run as administrator. So this should be enabled because it is a Wi-Fi connections. Then only it will be searching for consoles, but there is no consoles here. You need to turn on your console, whether it's a PS4 or PS3, just you need to, just you need to turn on the console. So I'm going to turn it on. So console is turned on. So my PS4 console is detected here. You need to select the user ID. Okay and which one you are going to connect with Chiaki app. So just select it. So once selected, so this is my ID. On the Chiaki app, the PS4 console is ready. I'm going to click on it. So host is already detected, okay? So if you don't find host, right, you can add it manually like this. So you can manually add it. So in order to find host, right, you need to go to settings. And here you need to come to system. And again, system information. So here you can find the host. Automatically, it will be detected. Okay, if you want to manually add it, you can add it. Now, what we need is we need this PSN account ID base 64. Now I'm going to move to the next step. We are going to create a project in PyCharm. Open PyCharm, then go to File and then click New Project. You can name it Test Chiaki App, and I'm going to create it. This window. Super cool project and environment is created. Next thing we have to create a file, Python file. Click on this main.py and right click, go to new and click this Python file. So here I'm going to name it get 
TSL account ID. I'm going to name it and select Python file. Double click and open the file. Next step is we are going to execute the script. It's very easy. So this year, right? Copying it. I'll be providing this link also in the description. You can get the code directly from this URL or if you are in this GitHub page, right? So going back on this main page, you can download it. There is called scripts, obtaining your PSN ID. This is the script page. So you need to click on it. Now we need to copy all the script. Copy the script, right click, copy, go back to editor, right click and paste it. If you are seeing this warning message, right? Just right click and show contents actions, reformat the file. So now everything is perfect. There is no error also. Okay. So now we can execute. So I'm going to execute the code to get a base 64 account ID. So right click and run get PSN account ID. We need to install pip. Automatically it will be installed. Okay. So we need to give Y and then enter. Super cool. So what you need to do is open the following URL in your browser and log in. So I'm going to right click and open in Chrome. This is my PSN ID. So I need to use this email. So this is the email ID I'm using for the PSN. So next, then I need to provide the password. Password is entered, then click on sign in. If you have enabled two-factor authentication, you need to disable it. We need to see this redirect message because the script itself, it's telling after logging in, when the app page shows redirect, copy the URL from the address bar and paste it here. So what you need to do is you need to copy this URL, redirect URL, copying it. And then we need to paste in the console. Okay. Enter the code here and then tap enter. Super cool. Now my account ID is found base 64 and eight bytes. This is the ID I need to log in. Actually, it's a 12 character code. I'm going to copy. Now I'm going to connect. Okay. Now you can check the firmware version, which version you are using. So go to settings and come to system and the system information, right? I have 10.01. So you can choose greater than eight is for firmware. So here we need to enter the account ID. I'm going to paste it here. Yes, this is the PSN account ID. And I'm going back before that, just you need to verify whether you have enabled two-factor authentication. Sometimes, right, if it is not working, you need to disable it. So go to account management, account information. So here we need to go to the security and go to second step verification. If you have already enabled, just turn off. I have not enabled, that's why it's not showing. Now we need to provide the pin number. For that, we need to go to settings. We need to choose remote play here. Remote play connection settings you need to choose. And we need to enable the remote play. And then we need to add the device, add device. This is called pin number. We need to enter. 4139330. So register. Super cool. The console has been added successfully. Super cool. Okay. Also, you can see this. The state is ready now. It successfully registered with the ID. So I'm going to double click. VK connected using remote play. Now you can see the remote play here. Now I can use the keyboard. See, control is there, but I'm using the keyboard because I have connected to PC. I'm going to enter. I'm starting this Spider-Man. You can maximize it as well. See, you can connect your PS4 control to PC to play any games or you can navigate. So that's the difference is the way you can get PS and account ID 8 bytes base 64. So definitely this video will be very much helpful. I think I have explained clearly and I have provided the step by steps and also I'll be providing my Instagram ID. And if you have any doubts, right? And if you're not able to get 
you can contact me through instagram so that if i'm able to help definitely i will help you so that's it friends hope this video is very much helpful thank you so much take care bye